all, all gone. Oh yeah. There we go. We are ending. Yes, we are online. Well, yeah, otherwise we wouldn't be talking now, would we? Well, you know what I mean, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Now, as you probably can hear by the sound, I'm not currently sitting at my desk. Yeah, quite obvious. Yeah. Now, well, like like you just said, bear with me. <laughs> I'm just getting some of my food on my plate. Well, I am currently eating my lovely, lovely uh, creamy mushroom pasta. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I got pizza. Fair enough. So I haven't eaten pizza in a while, like, like going and buying it myself, so, um... I had homemade pizza now, yesterday. We're gonna start off this rant with a bit of a positive, with the negative, uh, origin. Oh? Yeah. So, I went down to the pizza place I usually go, buy the normal pizza I do, and asked them to cut it in four pieces, as I always do. Yeah. It felt like a good fit. Because there's no point in having a million pieces when it's only me. Well enough to move into yeah. A you see the point. Something away for the future. Now, the guy who was... There, there was a bit of a... I'm guessing a communication error between the guy who took the order and the guy who made it, so... He didn't cut it into four. <laughs> he put it into squares. You know, in Norwegian, feed, count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Well, he fucked up, and then one of the other guys said, "Oh, so, well, he did. He cut it the normal way, and sorry." And I said, ah, "It's fine. It's going to taste the same." Yeah. And then the other guy goes into the um, the cooler, pulls out the one and a half liter bottle of Coke, and says, "Here you go." Hey. Hey. Fucked up. Hey. <laughs> that's customer service. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you're a regular. Yeah, th that's why I like that place, because they're always like, if they fuck up, they're like, yep, we fucked up. They're not trying to hide it. <laughs> yeah, at the same thing at the, uh, the place I used to go to before I moved. Yeah. Hey, at one time, you... where I had like a 40 minute wait, because they simply just forgot to put the pizza in the oven. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a complimentary and granted. Um... Of soda. Well then. But they know me down there. I'm, I'm always like an understanding customer when it comes to these things because I know how much of a pain in the ass it is to work in the kitchen. Yeah. So. Now th 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 this is a bit of a, This is gonna go very much off course but stay in the course of restaurants. Any place I've been to, been to, when they fuck up, you always have those people who, you know, flip off and become hysterical. Yep. I'm not like that. I calmly tell them, you fucked up. This can't, you know, be happening. Something as simple as I asked for a normal Coke. That's the only soda that was ordered. Yeah. On our table, and they still managed to bring me Fanta. Yeah. How? She wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty impressive. And I'm like, uh, this isn't what I ordered. I ordered a Coke. And since I just, you know, said, hey, like, calmly, a... Hey, Sorry, this is what I ordered, not the, hey, this is not what I fucking ordered, you bitch, yeah. and so on and so forth. She just brought me the coke and let me keep the Fanta, and they didn't bill us, bill us for the Fanta. What's on your mind? Yeah. That's how they're supposed to do it, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, same with the place down here, the one I always order with the extra, extra meat on it. One time they forgot, I didn't check it. When I was about to walk out the store, he, the guy stopped me and said, Hey, um, we forgot to put some extra meat. So I could just go in and they just put it on for me afterwards. Once again, that's how we should do it. They're nice. I like those guys. Me. Which means I'm going to go in there. Fuck-ups happen. Yeah, exactly. And... 
you know, I can fuck up. I I know for a fact that I can fuck up, and um, there's no reason to just flip off the employees when they mess up a little bit. It's not like they tried to poison me. Yeah. Like, uh, I didn't expect any compensation for uh, he cut my pizza wrong. No. It's not a major issue, it's just more finagly to eat. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice of them to care, so to say. Yeah. They haven't gone to my new local pizza place enough of anything that got to happen yet. Would have been your fate too, Fair enough. Were it not for the astral prison. They, they also the don't do particularly great pizza, so... With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of <laughs> And I think we've talked about this during... I don't know if we've done it on rant before, but we've definitely Together, talked about it before. Yeah, we have. Um, you missed the old place a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I miss the, uh, the... There's actual competition, so we got to do good. Yeah. You know, down here there's, um, one, two, three, four, five, uh, kebab places that also do pizza. Yeah. They have two places that just do pizza and some, so, and one beef thing, you know. Yeah. Fancy places. Yeah. And these kebab places, they're they're all they're all slightly different from each other somehow. Actually, uh, actually, there's one more pizza place that only does pizza. So there's three. My bad. No way they're taken. There's another one. There's four. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. The more I missed. No. The, the the issue here is that there's uh, f five kilometers to the next closest one. But that doesn't matter here. You see, a lot of these places they um, deliver. Yeah. Or can get deliveries with Fedora and all of those crappy ass companies. Yeah. And um, I'm actually so far out in the middle of nowhere that there's barely any of all those uh, third party delivery apps. There you go. Meanwhile. Any restaurant within 10 kilometers that I can, like, buy from, they consider this, uh, the city center competition. In one way or another. Yes. Now, on that note, this pizza is very good. I think you're gonna try this place in town. In town, you say? It's in town. A uh, 5.9 rating. Out of? Well, 4.9 out of 5. Yeah, I was like, you have out of 6 for some reason. <laughs> uh, there's also one with a 4.3 out of 5 with almost 500 reviews. Now, compared to the one near me, 3.6. So, uh, Sucker, yes. Joker Beer Pizza. Hmm. 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 Why do I feel like that pizza is going to have such a high standard? We might as well just open it in the middle of fucking France. <laughs> yeah. Or Italy. Yeah, that's more like it. So apparently there's a pizza place in that back alley. You know, the back alley pizza places are either great or they suck. Completely. Yeah. Because I've been to a few back alley pizza places and... One of them in in Oslo, of all places. Barely any people going there, but man, that fucking food was good. Yeah. The question is, why is it, like, so not used? It's because it's in the shady back alley. Yeah, Visually, it's, anyway. It's it's the kind where you need to know it's there. 
I don't know. There's a big ass sign outside the alley and everything. It's just people, you know, they see the alleys like, hmm, no. I'm afraid to get stabbed by a drug addict. Let's go for another place. You know, that's the look of it. But when you go in there and they realize it's all. It's a back alley of an old folks home, it's not that scary. Yeah. That's true. I'm not sure if that place is there anymore, though, sadly. But, you know. I think gotta go check out this place. Because, um, while we were on restaurants uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, when my mum and sister came down to visit, they wanted nachos for lunch. That's so, an uh, interesting lunch. Well, yeah. So we went to a cafe in town. A very good location. Um, <laughs> I ordered basically what I just made today. I started with a uh, mushroom sauce and uh, beef. I didn't have any beef. At least I didn't find any beef, so I used pork today. The, the one I made today was better than the one I got at the restaurant. Well, you know... <laughs> as, far as, I'm, as far as I know, uh, not having tried your food, you seem to know your way in that, around the kitchen knife. Yeah. I mean... And not uh, just the microwave like a lot of uh, people in our generation. I mean, I, I can make food that is good enough that my... I, I won't call him picky, but my chef granddad, who, you know, actually has standards for what he puts in his fucking face, likes what, what I make. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've made food for a chef, a chef before, and um, uh, he didn't kill me, and he <laughs> did, you know, clean the plate. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really the it. biggest compliment you can get from a chef. You know, I'll take it. <laughs> Especially if they also take seconds. There was so much on that plate, I'm surprised <laughs> they even cleaned it. Yeah. It was a case of uh, take as much as you want. Yeah. And uh, taste tested some of it before. Walked out with a fucking platter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. How many are you eating for there, buddy? <laughs> He's just eating for the whole week. Yeah. Another thing, actually, funny, when I was at um, uh, eighth grade. Ninth grade, sorry. Cool. What one one day a week I was down in the in the kitchen for the cantina for the main part of the school because I was on the special small thing. Because you were riding the short bus. I mean I did actually get the bus bus ride to school and like everybody else that was on that school, but you know, whatever. <laughs> It was, a, you know, one single class of nine people that uh, had special needs, let's just say that. Yeah. We even had a workshop, so, you know, we did welding and stuff as well. But uh, anywho, uh, not not every week, but every other or every third, it depends on who wanted to go because, you know, I couldn't hog it, so to say. Every time I made that food, it was sold out. Come to the not when anybody else made it, but when I made it. Yeah. It was fucking pasta. <laughs> yeah. And with a, um, the, the, the red sauce. Fuck. Bolognese. Thank you. So, uh, I may, may, we made it from the ground off with the, the only thing we didn't do was uh, make the um, tomatoes ourselves, so to say. We got them from cans, but... Yeah, but, I mean... The puree. Nine out of ten applications. Yeah. You won't be able to taste the difference on canned tomatoes and fresh. Yep. Now, I did spice it with uh, rosemary and um, oregano. Yes. Stuff. I don't think anybody else did that. 
Yeah. Look, at least not with um, the amount that I did. Um, like I said, every time I made it, sold out. Every time. Never failed. I'm, Help me. I'm, under attack. I'm pretty sure they could taste the difference from when I was down there and spicing it than somebody else. Freaking kind of Hang on. I'll keep going, but... Yes, talking. Eh. Um. Yeah. Um. If I saw that every time, and, and I was quite happy with that. And they also did a uh, like sample test of the um, of the meat before we put into the tomatoes and everything to see if it was um, like good. Yeah. Always good. <laughs> so we had one of these massive ass squares, cast iron pan things that uh, was standalone. You heated the entire thing. Then when you wanted it to when we transferred what uh, the content of it into the um the uh, the, the big metal shiny metal square thing that you put food in. Tray. What? Is it tray? Yeah it's a deep tray but it's a tray. Yeah. <clears throat> oh it's completely different than Norway. Yeah But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, the tray. Uh, we put it in that, and so you can just tip the entire thing. You will be cleansed. But it had a, basically a spout on it. <laughs> yeah. Front. Quite, quite nice to use. A uh, pain in the ass to clean. Yeah. Also, there's a dog on my desk now. Oh yeah, that, that was the noise. I heard a click earlier. Yeah, that was probably him. <clears throat> you know what, Berserker? What? Over. My taste buds are weird. Well, you know, I gotta go along with the rest of your fucking body. Yeah, but, okay, so it's not like this is anything completely uh, out there, but uh, I've been drinking Swedish Coke for a few months because that's where I bought it, because it's cheap. Yeah. This is an Norwegian bottle that I got from the pizza store. It tastes completely different. Yeah. I can taste it immediately. Why? <laughs> Why is it like this? Hurry. <clears throat> I, can't hold them back alone. I don't fucking That's... know. Different water, different sugar. Yeah, no, for sure it's different water. There's only one place we draw water from for a uh, cola in Norway, I believe, so... I you don't know. even know where they draw water for that crap here. Um, I'm guessing from a water source? Well, yeah, obviously. But, you know, all, all, all that stuff is, uh... I won't say owned by Carlsberg, but, you know made by Carlsberg and distributed by Carlsberg. And, um... Carlsberg! Yeah. Carlsberg Car started as a freaking brewery just outside Copenhagen on top of a hill. I mean, why not? Because more dirt means better water. I I wrote it wrong. I wrote Carlsberg with a K, and that's a German. Um, yeah. Okay. Carlsberg with a C. There we go. <laughs> um. Bam. It's been there for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. 1847. Yeah. Did you know they also have another uh, brand under them by now that calls Jakobs? No, uh, Kronenburg. Yes. That's from 1664. Yeah. Jakobsen is the name of the guy, isn't it? That made it? Um... Oh. See, now I gotta look stuff up. Uh, yes, J.C. Jakobsen. Yep. It's a, uh line of beer more than anything. 
freaking ah. Jakob Christian Jakobsen, that's the guy who made the, uh, the well, founded the brewery. Yes. And they started doing a line of fresh beer not too long ago. Uh, well, when I say not too long ago, it's probably like fucking 10, 15 years ago at this point. Yeah, the Cronenberg the Brewery was 1664 by the Maniac. In front. Oh, it's the Blanc! Oh, the 1664 Blanc. Ah! Yeah! They do those. But they open it though. Fucking hell, they've bought up a lot of stuff. I mean, if they had the money, I get it. <laughs> Why wouldn't they buy it? Well, let's see, we got the 1664, which is what the French or Belgian brewery. Then we got a bunch of various Czech breweries. <laughs> I had to put in my fucking year of birth to get into the Carlsberg website. God yes, that, that, that is what I was shouting at. I can go on the wine monopoly in Norway, uh, no matter what age I am. I just don't buy anything. Yeah, I think this is because they've become so global. Yeah, but it's a Carlsberg group. This isn't even like their bear thing, so to say. Also. The second thing I see on their page is the fucking share price. <laughs> How expensive is it? Um, 765? That's not too bad. I should buy some cards for shares. Yeah, but I don't know what 765. It's just 765, but I don't know what. They also do the fucking Brooklyn beers. Yeah, indeed. Um. Then we have the actual Carlsberg, then we have Cheers. It's the flicking me dog. Okay, you know you're on the table. Danish. Yeah, that's not so bad. I haven't even fucking found the Jakobsons yet. I'm only on E, and I'm on fucking page 5. Also, Carlsberg has around 31,000 employees as of 2023. Falcon beers. Smackful. That's, that sounds Norwegian. Uh, Falk? Or Falcon? Yeah, they're called Falcon. Yeah, I know we can get a lot of that in uh, Sweden. It's uh, Sweden. It's Swedish. Uh, Which explains the coloring, you know, blue and gold. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't weird enough named for Sweden. <laughs> now we have some it, German. Um, I mean, it's in Falkenberg in Sweden. That's where they're that, headquartered. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. And we have Fulmlund. How many shares do Kaltberg have, I wonder? Fucking Grimbergen as well. So what don't they own? Do Hopgoblin. Together we can turn Excuse me? Tide. Hopgoblin. Right. It's a uh, British um, brewery. They have fucking Vietnamese. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't surprise me though, to be fair. Imstel water. And here we have the Jacobsons. At long last. So many freaking things. Kahu from Finland. Greek beer. Estonian beer. Karl Friedrich. That very much sounds like a German brewer who moved to Estonia to make beer. Holy fucking crap. 
<laughs> so the uh, it's a hundred and twelve billion. Yeah. Finish. That's what it's worth. Yeah. So if we take a hundred and twelve billion, let's see, one, one, twelve. Let's uh, let's see, let's get this exact four eight. Anyway, uh, that, that's probably enough looking at beer for a rant. Especially one where we're not drinking beer or, you know, sponsored by beer or... But yeah. Carlsberg is... So they have about 150,000 shares, yeah. I'm guessing, roughly. Now, did you know, Berserker, if we went uh, for an AS for in our um, uh, company, yeah. if we set the shares to have, say, a million shares, and we got somebody to buy a single share at £50, like 500 uh, Norwegian, we would have, in theory, a more valuable company than Elon Musk. Yep. Or Amazon. Yep. Holy crap! Game... Huh? <laughs> June 2024, they made... they got in 19.3 billion Danish. Yeah... yeah around 6 billion in... Um, um, regular fees... Uh, not fees... Uh, what, what's it called in English? See my freaking keyboard for Doug, but um, I don't know. Hang on, translate, help, operating costs, of course. I have to type in my bloody birthday in Royal Uni Bureau as well. It means they basically, yeah, they sat by with 9.6 billion after everything they had to pay for. In one month. And then of course they had need taxing after that, but damn. <laughs> Tucker! Yeah. We need to start a brewery. I'll get right on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to buy some more brewery bottles and just start selling it door to door. Just go, uh,. The top with my granddad. Yeah, that works. Can we have a Nico special? Not sure what it's gonna be. It could be a, a surprise. A beer vodka blend. Ooh, ah, no, ah, <laughs> no. Thirty percent alcohol beer. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, when you um. When you wanted to drink spares, but you only like beer. Yep. <laughs> what would that beer look like? Fucking hell. See, now I'm wondering. A beer liquor. Would that even be feasible? Yes. <clears throat> Believe my grandfather, when he was uh, totally doing legal things down in his basement, actually made something like that. I mean, I probably started off from a barley wine rather than a traditional beer, but... It's an actual thing. <laughs> beer liquor. Yeah. Oh, well, malt liquor, as it's also called. Yeah. Huh. Th there's an Italian... To view this content correctly, you must be a legal age to drink alcohol. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Italians. Look, dog, I can't get you down from the table when you're standing like that. Okay, so Thank here's you. a liquor, ma liquor made from beer and infused of aromatic her uh, herbs from the mountain area. This is an uh, Italian one, and it's uh, only 24 euros for a 0.7 litre bottle. 
So, Nico. Yes, that's me. The, the dog I'm currently watching is more or less dev. But yeah. apparently he understands English. Great. <laughs> English jeans, maybe? I don't know. What type of dog is it again? Uh, I mean, he is half Yorkshire Terrier, so... Ah, there we go. It's his uh, for forefathers uh, translating for him. Apparently. <laughs> anyway, um, shall we talk about the uh, Gaijin and War Thunder? Like here? Uh, Got and, it. And, and how uh, they have, in well, essentially in a week, done the best job yet of something and the usual worst fucking implementation of something possible. You're thinking of the uh, XP thing? Well, for starters, I'm thinking of the event, because let's take the good news first. Fair enough. The, uh, the giving free modification, well, free random modifications for the uh, last stage of the event instead of just having a camouflage. Yep. Brilliant idea. Keep doing that. But. I don't really have a bot on that one. The big butt comes on the fucking. Um... Hang on, roll back. Uh, one butt. Why 45k? Just scared you. I mean, uh, uh, wasn't uh, honestly, honestly, honestly. This is a rank 8. Why did you go back up on the table? You just wanted to get down from the table. This is a rank 8 uh, plane, so... Like, for rank 8, fair enough, we're talking 45. And 40 for rank 7, 35 for rank 6, and so forth. Would that even add up? 40, 35, 30, 25, 20... 15, and 10. Yeah, it would! Well, right, a rank one would be ten thousand, and then you could maybe argue that it should be fifteen thousand instead. But but if they do that, fine. Yes. But do you think they will do that? No. Nope. They have already said that the minimum is going to be thirty-five thousand. Well, you know, with our luck, Berserk, next time there's a ground vehicle, it's going to be rank one and be sixty thousand to grind. Yeah, something like that. In ten hours, because fuck you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That a tier one tank better have a, a um, 130 mil gun on it. Yeah. Now, the other thing, the bonus for researching vehicles for the gaming nations, as they have nicely called it. Um. I mean. That was too close. Yes, great. It's here. Don't it's about me. fucking time, seeing I as you know. Fire. Yes. When the game started, a top Without tier vehicle them, would be. be let's go, Israel. Would be. A, around the 100, 100 to 150,000 research. Now we're down to 400 plus. Yeah. So, so great that we're getting a research bonus to researching new traits. Now, there's a few really big issues to it. The, the first is that the bonus starts at tier 4, or rank 4, so, you know, um, well, yeah, that, that, that's essentially it. The old grind, all of it, <laughs> before you get the bonus. Ah! Uh, <laughs> then you do get a 25% bonus for rank 4, 50% bonus for rank 5, 75 for rank 6, and 100% bonus for rank 7 and 8. Yeah, but... Yeah. Now... The main issue here, because, you know, it's it's basically something you unlock once you've hit a top tier vehicle for a nation. You know, only maniacs only do one nation up the top tier and don't touch anything else. Yeah. 
But that's not even the big issue here, Nico. The big issue here is that, um, you know, for, for both Germany and America, um, th th there's a few MBTs, uh, there's five for Germany and how many is there for, there's three for America in rank eight. But, you know, they're the same BR as the AA you can research in rank 8. And, yeah. you know, sensible people who want to uh, actually play the game and not just get murdered by aircraft after, well, after dying the first time and being lucky enough not to get spawn camped repeatedly, probably research an AA to bring along into their lineup. And then you don't yeah. get the bonus for that nation anymore. Yeah. Because, you know, despite the fact that the bonus message just says that you get the bonus for all other nations for that particular branch, We've you don't the moment you have a vehicle that fulfilled the requirement to get the bonus. Yeah. You know... The idea of... <laughs> they are they are literally encouraging people to ignore elements of gameplay. Hey, hey. Again. Again, even more. Um They are at least trying to make people actually research a trade. Yeah, but like you said, great concept, very gaijin way of implementing it. <laughs> yes, the idea was amazing and much needed, and then Guy did touch it. You know, because we not let Guy Jin start that uh, touch stuff anymore. Yeah. Because punish people for doing more than one nation. That's a great idea. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them alone. You know, sometimes I feel like guys are saying, stop playing our game. Yeah. Like, fair enough, you can't stack the bonus, so if you have multiple top tier vehicles, you get double bonus. Actually, that also wouldn't be bad. Just get additional battles per day. Yeah, but... Still. <laughs> but still, I mean, just let me fucking get the three daily bonuses on America. When I have top tier Germany. <laughs> yeah. Even though I have a top tier American. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will. It should have been the not big, it's always only one vehicle in the uh, in the line. Orpheus. You know what I mean? I realized what the prison was for. Yeah. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind... Should just make it so having a vehicle doesn't prevent you from getting the bonus in that nation. If you have a vehicle that applies in another nation. Yeah, I'm fine with it, but it's just a vehicle. Then it shouldn't apply, so to say. Yeah. Well, remove it. But if you have, um... Four out of the five top we vehicle on that nation. That nation should not get the bonus on that last vehicle because you should might as well just shoot the other ones around it then. Ah, well, Nico, you see, despite the fact that there is four um, rank eight Americans, it's only the two of them that actually apply. Well then, uh, and if they add something after either one of them, it won't apply anymore. Ah. As far as is concerned, you are already <laughs> yeah. Oh, sworn yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it a make it like the rank unlocks where you have to have a certain amount of vehicles in a rank to get it instead of just. But this is what I am. You you have a vehicle that applies. I mean, they already have that system in the game. Not that man. They literally do. <laughs> And they've literally set it up visually, so it looks like it's another rank. Yeah. Oh, thank you. 
If you would be just 10% consistent, you would be so much better. What do you mean 10%? 1% they wouldn't be better. <laughs> But the, well, yeah, but you know, 10% would be so much better. If they go become 10% consistent, the world would actually implode. Yeah. You know that scene from, uh, uh, I think it's American Dad, where they, he's looking at that uh, dial? No. Well, it's, it's hovering in between the yellow and the red, basically, if it's uh, good or bad. And he's like... Winting his eyes to see if it's gone into the red or not. Yeah. If we put Gaijin at the five percent percentage of um, uh, consistency, it would just, you know, speed run into the red. Like yeah, but you know, we're also long overdue on some natural selection. What is there? Um, I believe I can trigger the next stage. Business the guy who just gonna um, make shot <laughs> in the street or something. Uh, oh Trick well. Yeah. Oh well. Inkton. Is there anything else to rant about? I don't think there is. Um, bowling is a friendship. Well, yeah. I also just came up. We came thought of another thing. Yep. Go ahead. The Borderlands movie. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're going there. It has been doing so bad in theaters that the, uh, I can't remember what company is behind it, but, but they are now pushing it to um, video on demand, basically buying it online, renting it online, in the hopes of at least breaking even. You know, <laughs> making a movie of Borderlands is a, a hazardous path to take. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad idea in concept. There is... No, no, no. It's a great idea. It's just a royal pain to try to execute because of all yeah. the things you can have. Because there's so many things you could do so good use in that universe because logic doesn't exist. Yep. To some to some extent, at least. Yeah, I mean it's just an amazing freaking setting. Yeah. Um, and the problem and, is, if, and if you mostly amazing it, characters as well. Yeah, and, but if you approach it too too Hollywood, so to say, yeah. trying to make it the normal you know, story arc crappy movie that uh, you've seen a billion times but with different people in it it borderlands doesn't flow like that nope it's kind of like D. &D. <laughs> i was about to say <laughs> borderlands storytelling is more kind of like the D, D movie was a bit all over the place <laughs> see once again i'm living rent free in your head <laughs> Because, you know, the D&D movie, I mean, yes, there is a somewhat linear plotline. Yeah, but, you know, they didn't have ten hours to do the movie. No. But, but it's still very much a plotline where there's, like, 15 different branches going every which way and reconnecting and... Which is what D and D is. The DM yeah. is not there actually to run the game. It's just to, to, to make sure the players actually somewhat get their objective done this year. Yeah. Yeah. And also just the whole the the the, the, the actual goal of the story changes three or four times throughout the story. Whatever do you mean? But yeah, <clears throat> I've never, I've never seen how, the, how that could happen. Yeah. And then we have the Borderlands movie, which is very, I mean, I haven't seen shit on it, but yeah, very, very traditional storytelling. You are exquisite. I've seen very little on it, and honestly, I feel like the, um, 
the sketches from like Tales of the Borderlands is better. The brain has gone yeah. to the city. And the army marches but, uh, I, I saw one of them, I believe um, two guys, either they bust down the door or then say down on your knees and she's sitting in a hovering wheelchair. Yep. And she's like, uh, no. Yeah. Then, then the bot is up on the counter already on his knees and then they tell him to all go on his knees and just looks down and... Even yeah. though... Fucking that, idiot. <laughs> that, that, that is very Borderlands right there. Yeah, but it's so good because the, the two guys go in and they're, they're thinking, Ha, yeah, we did so good. And like everybody's like, you are fucking idiots. How yeah. the hell did you get that job? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to watch it when it eventually goes out on some streaming platform so I don't have to pay for watching it. Yeah, or, you know, people. That part is not that big of a deal. You know, I live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, but theaters, though. Yeah, but Nico, my local theater has exactly one screen. Oh, it's just, uh, they have a small, like, 20 inch TV. <laughs> no, it's not quite that bad, but it is very small. I don't even think the. I'm gonna have to check. I don't even think they're running the Borderlands movie. They might not have screen time for it. Because they actually want something on there that's worth watching. Yeah. Now, now we're on the case of movies while you're looking for that. Um, anybody who's watching, uh, French movies are weird as fuck. Especially some of them. But there are good ones, that are French in origin, don't get me wrong, but I watched one once where a guy lost his uh, violin and then he got depressed and everything just, uh, I had no idea what the, what the fuck was going on in the movie anymore. It was some artistic expression shit. It was absolute acid and I watched this in like a pre-release pre thing. One of the people from one of the papers fell asleep. I could hear him snoring. He's probably watched a lot of shitty movies. But this was bad. Okay, there's gonna be two screens. What, the one up in his office? I don't know, but when you have a show when you have two showings that start at the same time. Yeah. But yeah. One that I, in the, I, I've, I've one that had... in the one in the lobby. <laughs> I've had to go on to next week because the the program for today uh, that there's I already opened that freaking tab. There's a uh, Danish uh, thriller thing. There is, and this is the last day they're showing it. Uh, what the hell is it called? Is it called Inside Out? Yes, Inside Out Two. <clears throat> Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine and Alien Romulus. Uh, what the hell is this? What the fuck? Oh my god, why? Why? So, yeah, they, they didn't even bother showing it. Um. Never wanted to occur. Yeah. You know this uh, old Swedish movie? Uh, Ronia and the uh, Robert's daughter. Yes. Well, Robbie, uh, Ronia D. They, Robert they've done a remake. Thing. Yeah, but that was a fun one. That is a uh, parody. I'm guessing. No, they've done an actual remake. No, but yeah, but I've also found one that says a parody. <laughs> Fair enough. But I know they made a remake, but this is not a remake. <laughs> this is a remake. I'm gonna go shoot the people who made it, and uh, her name is on the paper thing here. Great. Now this is Mina and the uh, and the robbers, and it's a re a pretty fucked adventure. Great. What the actual fuck is this? <laughs> it's apparently about some radio thing. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> We're giving up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, but yeah, I know they made a remake. Uh, wasn't it? Wasn't it Netflix? I think so. Anyway, it's a series, not a it, not a remake though. It's a series. Dog is starting to say he wants to go out. Mm. Imagine my surprise. So we hey, been... we're showing the Do Borderlands movie. We better end the rant. Well, <laughs> yeah. But but honestly, honestly, this is a movie where I'd probably pirate it because it's gonna be so bad. Subdued by that repugnant I I don't want to watch the movie because I want to watch the movie. I want to watch the movie because I want to see just how bad it actually is. So, uh, it dipped. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they had potential with the cast. Yeah, I mean, they should but, have cast uh, Kevin Hart as Claptrap, but other than that, yeah. Exactly, like, they had potential, <laughs> but the thing you feel like all of them are in the wrong role. Yeah. It's, um... Also, they fucked up Lilith. Where the hell is her face markings? Because they Oi. fucked up Lilith. They fucked up just about everything. The Tina is the closest thing. At least she has the band-aid on the record spot. And hey. the bunny here. But we're missing... Two characters? On this picture? Where the hell is our... Where, where is Mordecai, damn it? <laughs> they, blew, they blew the budget and all the big stars, so they couldn't afford to cast that guy. Where's Brick and Mordecai? <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Oh, yeah. How could they not take Brick? Brick is like a... He's the dumbest but funniest character ever. <laughs> he's so stupid. The best fucking character in Borderlands 1. Uh, he's also really funny in Borderlands 2 when you meet him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Damn, let, let's let's end, yes. Let, let's <laughs> let's end the rant on that <laughs> before we explode. <laughs> because we before we do a fucking Nazi face melt from Indiana Jones. Yeah. Um, last thing, if anybody has too many millions on hand and want to send us money, please do. We need it. Yes. We we <laughs> have many great pitches to make you. Yes, we need developers. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for watching to all the YouTube prep and see you in the next one.